In this module, we're going to be covering chromosomes, genes, and DNA. So let's get into it. So DNA is a nucleic acid that is located on the chromosomes in a cell's nucleus. Chromosomes consist of genes, which are single units of genetic information. Genes are the code for protein that plays a part in the structure or function of the body. It has a double helix shape, and each gene is a section on a chromosome that codes for a protein. DNA forms a double helix, which is a two-stranded spiral, consists of four base nucleotides, which are A, adenine, T, thymine, C, cytosine, and G, guanine, a base pair is one of the pairs, so adenine pairs with, with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. So we can see over here, this is a strand of section of DNA. It has the, it is double stranded in a helix. So you see the two strands and this kind of twirl is called a helix and we can see our base pairs together. So the adenine is with the thymine, so you can see the red and the yellow, and the guanine and cytosine are together, the green and blue. And uracil is a, another nucleotide, but we can see that it is not in this strand of DNA, so let's look further. So DNA replication, so pairs of chromosomes are composed of DNA, which is tightly wound to conserve space. They, when replication starts, it unwinds. So we have that chromosome tightly wound, but if we unwind it, this is what we will get. The steps in DNA replication are controlled by enzymes. The enzyme helicase instigates the deforming of hydrogen bonds between the bases to split the two strands. So we can see that helicase is here, it's splitting the two strands. And the splitting starts at the AT bases, so adenine and thymine, as there are only two hydrogen bonds there. The portion of the DNA that is unwound to be replicated is called the replication fork, and each strand of DNA is transcribed by mRNA. It copies the DNA onto itself base by base in a complementary manner. The exception is that uracil replaces thymine. Mutations are mistakes in copying DNA. So in RNA, RNA is when the DNA is unzipped and transcribed. The RNA is sent out of the nucleus and sent to the ribosomes where proteins are made. The base nucleotides in RNA are C, G, A, and uracil. U replaces thymine in RNA because remember when it transcribes over, the thymine is replaced by uracil. These bases in RNA code for amino acids, which build proteins. Types of RNA include ribosomal RNA, transfer RNA, and messenger RNA. Messenger RNA carries a copy of a strand of DNA and transports it from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Translation is the process where ribosomes use transcribed RNA to put together the needed protein. And transfer RNA is a molecule that helps in the translation process and is found in the cytoplasm. And ribosomal RNA is in the ribosomes. So again, these definitions of different types of RNA, really the, the name kind of tells you what it does. So just be aware of the different types and then when you see the name, you'll know what it is. Now we can see this is the DNA we just went over, and this is an example of RNA. So single strand, it doesn't have any thymine. As we can see, there's no yellow, and that is because the uracil, the purple, has replaced the thymine. So RNA and, so let's talk about the differences between RNA and DNA. So RNA and DNA differ in terms of structure and function. RNA has a different sugar than DNA. It has ribose rather than deoxyribose sugar. The RNA nitrogenous bases are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. 
uracil is found only in RNA and thymine is found only in DNA. RNA consists of a single strand and DNA has two strands. And RNA supports the functions carried out by DNA. It aids in the gene expression, replication, and transportation. So then we also have something called purines and pyrimidines. The five bases nucleotides formed in DNA and RNA can be categorized as either pyrimidine or purine according to their structure. So the pyrimidine bases include cytosine, thymine, and uracil. The purine bases are adenine and guanine. When combined with a sugar, any of the five bases become nucleosides. Nucleosides link to a phosphate group and are then called a nucleotide. And bases are the most basic components followed by nucleosides, nucleotides, then DNA and RNA. So you can see over here we have our pyrimidines, cytosine and thymine, and then we have our purines, guanine and adenine. Then three parts of a nucleotide. So you have your phosphate group, your pentose sugar, and your nitrogenic base. So there's also something called a codon. So a codon is a trinucleotide sequence of DNA. So you have three nucleotides linked together, or RNA, that corresponds to a specific amino acid messenger RNA in the nucleus. A codon has the code for a single amino acid. There are 64 codons, but 20 amino acids, more than one combination or triplet, because there's three sequences, three because it's a trinucleotide sequence, so three nucleotides, can be used to synthesize the necessary amino acids. For example, AAA, which is adenine, 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 or AAG, which is adenine, adenine, guanine, can serve as a codon for lysine. There are start and stop codons that indicate the beginning and end of a sequence. AUG, known as methionine, is a start codon, where UAA, UGA, and UAG are stop codons. So if we look over at this circle, all these different letters are our different nucleotides. So this is your adenine. These different nucleotides can create a sequence. So the reason that it kind of looks like this is because it's a tri-sequence. So you have one nucleotide, two nucleotides, and three nucleotides can be either one of these. And then again, one, two, three, one, two, three. So yeah, these are just all the different nucleotides. And then it tells you which type of protein that it codes for. Is it a stop or start codon? So this is just shows you all the different codons. So you don't need to memorize this. Just know what a codon is. Know that it can start and stop a sequence and that it codes for different proteins and that kind of thing. All right, and that is the end of this module, so make sure to take the quiz, and I will see you in the next module. Bye.